How the fuck's it going everyone? Back today with another video and yes, yes I know it's been a little while. Um, I'm still trying to find a bit of consistency here in amongst my busy work life at the minute. Uh, I've had assignments for a course I'm doing as well so I mean shit's just getting crazy and shit's slowed down drastically but I'm not going anywhere. I am sticking around. Um, I do have a stream on Sunday night with the guys, uh, John and Dave, as we have been doing kind of bi-weekly since we started. Um, so that'll be this Sunday, 8 p.m. GMT. That's uh, British time. So um, yeah, come along to that one. It's a thrash metal stream, so it should be a laugh as always. Can't wait for that one. And yeah, as I say, trying to get a bit of consistency back with these fucking things. But alas, um, life gets in the way sometimes. Apologies for that. But um, yeah, thought I would just come back with an easy one. I've been getting shitloads of stuff in recently. Um, so I thought I would come along and just do a kind of vinyl update video slash album recommendations, however you want to look at it. A lot of the time, this is kind of classic stuff. So you'll already know and get my drift um, kind of as I'm showing them. But never mind. Hopefully you find some cool shit to listen to and hopefully you haven't heard all of it at the very least. Um, but yeah, first of all, what's going on in the background? This is the split release between Black Witchery out of the US and Revenge out of Canada entitled Holocaustic Death March to Humanity's Doom. Um, so yeah, if you don't know either of these bands, they both play bestial black metal, war metal, however you want to uh, kind of look at it. Black Witchery, a lot more kind of black and death metal, um, whereas Revenge adds that grind element. Super pummeling, exactly as you might expect from both of these bands. However, Revenge's side is one track and it's about 10 minutes long-ish. Uh, so there's some cool, slower, more kind of um, patient moments in there, but no less bludgeoning. No less kind of catastrophic, absolutely face-ripping, skin-melting stuff. Go and check it out. This came out in 2015 through Nuclear War Now. Um, yeah, saw this in my local record shop along with the uh, Dharma CD. And I had to pick this shit up, man. So fucking good. Um, it's pretty short. I think it's around the 20-minute mark. Maybe just, uh, just under sort of 20 minutes uh that's the revenge side humanity noosed very cool and there is the black witchery side very very good if you like either of those bands that thing doesn't miss absolutely killer um so yeah as usual in my kind of uh vinyl updates um i've got four albums to show you um all of varying styles so it should be quite eclectic uh, and as i say hopefully you motherfuckers have something to go and check out. Otherwise, I'm wasting my goddamn time here. Um, just being one of those show-off um, members of the VC. Um, we all know we hate those people, John. Um, but yeah, so the first album that I'm going to show here. This is a classic. This was reduced in um, kind of one of the larger record shops like just a high street record shop here in the uk and they never ever reduce things you're normally looking at like at least 30 quid for an uh, just a single standard lp posted from within the uk which is absolutely obscene um vinyl prices are absolutely ridiculous at the minute but um yeah this was one of the absolute rarities where they'd knocked off a fair amount of the uh price I don't know why, but I wasn't going to hang around to ask questions. Enough of my fucking rambling. This is Pentagram with their debut full-length album entitled Relentless. Now, I know what you're thinking because I was thinking it too. Um, this is actually their kind of debut full-length album. Uh, sorry, their self-titled full-length album. It is their debut full-length album. Um, but this is like a restored and kind of re-released version so to my knowledge off the dome something like there were some original recordings from 1982 um which were then remastered and kind of redone um some parts completely re-recorded um which was released as their kind of um self-titled 
and then Peaceful Records got a hold of it a little later and released it in all of its kind of original glory, frills and all. Um, so yeah, basically this is their original, original um, debut album. Uh, if you don't know Pentagram, they're a doom metal band basically out of Washington DC and they are basically a classic, classic band. Um, underrated as all hell if you ask me they play doom metal in a very very kind of black sabbath way so you could call it proto heavy metal if you really really wanted to but um yeah really really good very catchy riffing one of those doom bands that manages to kind of craft interesting and unique uh riffs despite being very limited with their guitar tone if that makes sense a lot of the notes sound very similar with doom metal because it's so low tuned everything sounds low and therefore it's quite difficult for bands to kind of stand out from the crowd but pentagram do it perfectly and um, specifically the track all your sins i had that on a like cd compilation back like about 10 years ago probably at this point um and in fact most of this album ended up on that compilation so I was very familiar with all of it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, tons of stuff that's stuck in my head that I haven't heard for a while that then I just come back to and I remember just perfectly, word for word, note to note. Absolutely fucking brilliant. If you're not familiar with that, go and check it out. Uh, this came out in 1985, I believe. Um, but don't quote me on that. Uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic stuff. Absolute classic. Love that cover there shows a kind of Baphomet sort of looking goat character in the pentagram. Um, and that's about it. Very cool um, kind of logo there. Kind of reminds me of Spinal Tap a bit without all the umlauts and shit, but uh, I digress. Very minimalist uh, layout, Peaceful Records, as I say, and just the track listing there. Absolutely brilliant. A real, real foot tapper. Very memorable. In here we get a sort of insert slash the actual record holder record holder a record quiver i'm going to start calling them that um but yeah the lyrics on that side and a couple of band photos on that side look at that shit just looks metal buffer me and just a bunch of corpse paint and god knows what absolutely ahead of their time i believe the band actually formed around 1971 ish um so yeah they've been around a long time and it took them a fucking while to actually release their album um but yeah i think they had a shitload of demos and stuff but anyway this came on a very very striking kind of lime green vinyl um to be honest anything goes well with like a black and white or black and silver cover so i'm not too upset about that i know it looks kind of ghastly um and it probably would if the album cover was orange or some something like that but i think they didn't get away with it with such a album cover but uh yeah if i can get this back in without tearing everything in half and smashing the disc that would be fucking beautiful but yeah i've rambled for far too long for that one but that's pentagram with relentless i'm sure you guys know it to be fair but um yeah it was one i'd kind of forgotten to pick up after all these years and um yeah pleased to have done so finally next up is an album that again if you followed me if you follow me over on instagram you will have seen me post this um but yeah really wanted to kind of uh, show it and talk about it verbally as it's a totally different thing to writing a caption on instagram but yeah this next one is probably what will end up in the thumbnail this is mortician with their first demo, I believe, um, entitled Brutally Mutilated. Now, I got a little bit confused with kind of which release this was, because I believe they released the the demo with these exact tracks, and I think it was just called Demo 1. Um, and then they released a rehearsal, which had the exact same tracks on it again, I believe, and then Brutally Mutilated came after that. So I don't know which version this is. Uh, perhaps somebody can tell me in the um kind of comments but uh yeah it says both on this so there's the brutally mutilated cover and on the back it says demo one 1990 so i don't know do with that what you will let me know if you know but um basically 
This is a three track demo of Mortician doing what they do best. Of course, Mortician are like brutal death metal slash brutal death grind band based out of New York. Um, and yeah, this particular demo is essentially what you may be missing from their full length albums. And by that, I mean, this has a proper drummer the uh, sound clips and film clips are toned down completely. In fact, we only get one short one towards the back end of the album as like an outro sort of thing. Um, and the vocals and, well, and instruments, to be honest, aren't quite as absurdly low. Um, so it's a little bit more traditional, a little bit more um, human, shall we say, because um, Mortician's kind of full lengths on, like, from the beginning onwards just got completely barbaric super fuzzy guitar tone and everything and don't get me wrong we get that here but to me this is a little bit more realistic um a little bit less obscene if you will um john mcinty uh, famous of course for um his work in incantation nowadays plays the guitar on this one i believe yeah um and then yeah we've got a real drummer on this one and to be honest the drumming is no less absurd than the drum machine, to be honest. This guy is an absolute force of nature. Uh, Match Syker, I believe he's called. Uh, if I pronounced his name right, that's S-I-C-H-E-R. But um, yeah, this is Mortician doing what they do best. These tracks ended up on, cha uh, not Chainsaw Dismemberment, Hacked Up For Barbecue, their debut. Um, so you'll know the tracks, but in a totally, totally different light, a totally different experience. Very short, I think it's just under 10 minutes long. Um, and we've got uh, the same demo on each side. So it's one of those where you can just listen to it, flip it straight back over, which is exactly what I've been doing. Just like a quick annihilation of your ears um, just before you flip it over and do the exact same thing again, just to finish them off, explode your head with some goddamn gore. But uh, yeah, the three tra uh, tracks on here are Mortician, um, Brutally Mutilated and Necro Cannibal. Um, my favourite on there probably being Necro Cannibal, the final track. This thing's magnificent, man. I've been really digging Mortation, really digging and kind of going back through their discography as they're being repressed and things like that. Um, Hell's Head Bangers put this one out. Uh, and yeah, go and check it out. Mortation. Killer, killer picture disc. Um, really love it. It's got a similar quality to it, to the uh, kind of Reek of Death records one that I've got, um, that I showed like a few videos ago. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Um, sounds great. It doesn't have quite so much like surface noise. Uh, a few of my picture discs in my collection have like that kind of, I don't know, almost sounds like it's being spun underwater or something effect but this one doesn't have too much of that so I, I don't know where they're getting these um kind of uh pressed or anything but killer stuff really great job done but um yeah front cover shows a zombie with his innards ripped out with some dude down here i assume who has reanimated this corpse i do not know really but uh yeah really like it love the kind of black and white effect been really digging my demos recently so it's just as well because that's pretty much what you get back cover or the back side i guess um just shows i don't really know what it shows just like a graveyard i guess it's kind of what it looks like to me with a tree and i don't know uh track listing um the band members and the hells logo there really really nice so yeah if you like mortician or even if you like death metal and you're not a f not a kind of um you're not aware of mortician or not familiar with their work do go and check that out really good stuff brutally mutilated we're already on the revenge track here so the cd is probably going to end before i finish this vid but never mind next up is a one that is distributed by hell's headbangers there's a little bit of a theme going on in this one because i got uh, a bunch of stuff from there this one i actually picked up in my local record shop this is, of course, Satanic Warmaster with their fourth full-length album entitled Naxera. Um, probably butchered that. Um, we'll go with I butchered that. Um, but yeah, this is this came out in 2010 through Werewolf Records. 
And if you like Satanic War Master in any facet, this is them doing exactly what you used to. Of course, one man band. Like, this one's a bit more shrouded in static, I would say, than the album prior, uh, which was Corellian Satanist Madness. Um, but to me, I think that enhances it. I've seen a bunch of people in reviews and whatever complaining about that, but I think it's great. Real punk edge, some fantastic sawing, grating um, riffing. Of course, Werewolf's ridiculously high shrieks. I don't know how a grown man kind of goes about um, making such sounds, but really, really cool anyway. Um, yeah. Absolutely love this shit. Uh, the first track, Satan's Werewolf, and the second tr uh, second proper track, anyway, Vampires. They're two of my favourite moments on this whole fucking thing. Um, just some killer, killer riffs. Some really nice vocal work. Uh, the moment where he screams, we are the worms that crawl on the broken wings of an angel, are just, I don't know, chill-inducing. Absolutely brilliant. Finished black metal, exactly how you might like it. Um, front cover is absolutely killer it shows what i assume is satan's werewolf hanging about in some woods but i really love the drawing and the bordering really like that they didn't whack the fucking logo on the front cover there um carelessly on the back instead we get the logo the title more bordering and the track listing as i say werewolf records put this one out uh, try not to get the ring light in there too much. This is a gatefold. Got a nice picture of Werewolf there with all of the lyrics. Um, and, I don't know, some sort of satanic imagery right there. On the inside, we've got a poster, which uh, I don't think will be going up, but I've got to say... I've got a soft spot for it. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. That's one side. <laughs> Our guy werewolf and all the spikes and leather and shit. That's the band there, I assume. I don't know if he's got session musicians for this one or if it was all werewolf. But uh, that's now making me doubt myself. Um, but yeah, I guess look that up if you're not sure. Uh, because I clearly am not sure. Um, but yeah, really good stuff. A uh, very nice presentation. Plain black vinyl, so I won't get that out and show you, but I'll show you the centre labels there. We've got another picture of Werewolf with the tracks. And on this side, I don't have a fucking clue what it shows. But, uh, yeah, cool anyway. Um, yeah, black vinyl, of course, goes with the black and white cover. Don't need me to tell you that, I'm sure. You've got eyes, or I assume you do. Apologies for any eyeless listeners uh, but yeah killer stuff satanic war master naxera brilliant and finally another hell's headbangers release so this one actually did come from hell's and um, this is a co-release between hell's headbangers and osmos productions out of france this is danish black metal band denial of god with their debut full-length album from 2006 entitled The Horrors of Satan. So this is an album that I've listened to a ton on Spotify like throughout the years and I've just never ever picked up a copy for some reason. It's another one of those where like I've always seen it popping up so I always assume it's it, it's fine, it's always in press or whatever but then I never end up buying it. But I thought, I saw this one on the website, I thought high time, I should probably fucking buy it. This is two-piece black metal um, pretty long album, I believe it's over 50 minutes in length, um, may even be longer than that, but um, yeah, really, really well written black metal, nothing too kind of experimental, not too many extra styles come in, in terms of like, I don't know, like prog or anything like that, um, there's nothing really like super symphonic or anything, it's just I would say black metal, Melody is a focal point for this album and this band in general. They really rely on it. Um, and it really enhances the kind of catchy vocal hooks. Um, all of that sort of stuff. The catchy ass riffs. Um, it's just black metal written for people who love to kind of nod their head. Um, it's got that kind of campy fun aspect that you... That you well, I was going to say that you need, but you don't really... Uh, but it doesn't seem to take itself too seriously either. 
There's plenty of like heavy metal inspired stuff on here. Uh, it does seem to harken back the days of the kind of traditional uh, kind of fledgling metal scene. So yeah, uh, go and check that out. Denial of God. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. This is one of those where like riffs burst out of nowhere um, when you're least expecting them. Uh, and just kind of rip your head off your shoulders. Absolutely killer stuff. Um, yeah, go and check it out. Front cover shows uh, a witch with a goofy looking wolf. And I don't really know who this guy is, but I like him throwing horns uh, with some sort of spell blasting out of a book. It's not really what you want to see kind of emanating out of your book, is it really? Um, and then we've got this poor dickhead kind of locked in a cage with a bunch of bats. So yeah, whatever's going on there, I'm pleased I'm not there, but I like to look at it. Very cool. Love the blue with the yellow. Absolutely perfect match. Um, kind of double-sided sort of thing. It all fits into one piece, which is absolutely stunning. We've got a church, a graveyard, a witch flying about on a broom, track listing, and indeed osmos and hells put this one out inside we've got a bunch of credits and a picture of the band again i said this is a two-piece but there's three dudes there so i don't know i don't know if one's a session musician or what but anyway uh again go and check it out love the border in there though with the tombstones and just freaky goings on don't think we get anything extra in terms of oh no i tell a lie you get a pretty substantial sort of booklet here sorry the cd stopped but i'm not getting up to change it at this point um we've got some uh, really cool photos all the lyrics um yeah just some more really nice art uh, i'll let you look through that in your own time because you should definitely go and buy this thing if you like your black metal uh, don't deprive yourself of this. You've been warned. Is there anything else in here before I move on? No, I don't think so. Should have checked that out beforehand. I do apologise. Riveting viewing as always. Don't tell me I don't do anything for you. This is one of those kind of Ukrainian donation editions um, that Osmos has been putting out for the kind of Ukraine-Russia crisis that's been going on. But um, yeah, despite not being out of the Ukraine, this goes perfectly with that colour scheme on the front cover there. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, this is a double LP, by the way. Both records look identical. Um, yeah, I really like that Osmos has been doing that, um, especially like for the Ukrainian bands because they've got a bunch on their roster or at least like their back roster. I don't know if a lot of the bands are still on their label. But anyway, I digress. I'm rambling Denial of God, The Horrors of Satan. Um, not one I'm like totally expecting you to know, but one I totally expect you to go and check out if you like black metal in any facet. Such a fun one. Um, it's got everything you would want from a black metal record and more. So yeah, that concludes that. I'm going to uh, go to bed because I'm fucked. Um, hope you're doing well. I'll try not to be so long uh, for the next video because I do have... A bunch of stuff that's arrived it uh, just keeps piling up so yeah you, there's plenty to be getting through in the meantime so yeah until the next time have a great week hope your work week's going well tomorrow's the last one before your weekend so yeah hope you enjoy i'm sure i'll be back then but until then take care as always and i will catch you in the next one